Faith is logical. Faith makes sense. God made us to have faith. Have you noticed how much faith there is in the lost world? You just got to believe. I mean, how many, how many faith t-shirts are there out there? You know, that Nike t-shirts, you know, just believe. You know, believe in the power. But what power? You know, believe in yourself. That is the funniest thing I've ever heard when people talk about believing in themselves. I like what, believe in your existence or believe in your ability to do something? You know, because I do believe in your existence, but I don't believe in your ability to do something. You know, when you realize, uh, when you've ever been incapacitated, it's amazing to me physically how easy it is for any person to just lose their physical ability. Now, sometimes I come to the place when you just realize what it is to be incapacitated. You just, you, you have plans, you have things that you think you'd do. You ever imagine what you'd do if you got hurt? Well, if I sprained my ankle, I'd just keep on walking. Well, try it sometime. <laughs> try to go out, you just jump off a roof or something, sprain your ankle. And see what you do. You find out that a lot that you do has to do with the ability to do it, and the ability to do things doesn't come from you. I was so sick I couldn't get up. I mean, I just physically couldn't get up. And I get to feeling better, you know, and, and uh, after four or five hours or after a night's rest, and I get up and I feel okay. And two minutes later, man, I was just, I mean, I just didn't have the strength to move. And it's amazing. I and mean, it wasn't like, well, you could just will yourself to move. No, I, I was passing out. And just couldn't do anything about it. Just so sick. But he just incapacitated me. You can believe in yourself all you want to, but friend, there are things that will happen in life that will that'll stop you. I know people that think about relationships. Well, you know what? You just do this, this, and this, and your relationship will work. And then they, they don't realize that there's someone else in the relationship that can just close it down. Uh, you think you can always do right. And if you do right, you'll never get yourself in a wrong situation. I found out you can do right and sometimes get in a situation where circumstances are beyond your control. And that's the way life is. So believing in yourself is not believing in anything at all. There are some people who are willing to be saved without faith. In other words, I'm going to wait till I die and if God really is the judge of the dead, and if he, Jesus really is Christ, and I see Him with my eyes, I'll believe. And yet all through the Scripture we see individuals that saw Jesus as the Son of God, that saw the miracles that He did, that saw the works that He did, and did not believe. And ultimately, my friend, the grave has sealed their choice. They died without faith. Faith, my friend, always has... God and His promise as its object. See, I said earlier, when a person says just believe and they don't talk about what they're believing in, that is not faith. Faith always in the Scripture, saving faith, faith which God rewards, has God as His object. You know, Christian, you can experience the results of faith personally. Not only when you trust Jesus as your Savior, but when you go to the Word of God and obey it. You try it sometime. Try obeying God. I've, I, I have seen believers obey God, and I've seen the, the scoffers, the mockers, come along and say, what did you get for it? What do you have for your efforts? Well, I'll tell you what you have. God's pleased. And He rewards you eternally. The idea that God has to do something in this life to make our faith worthwhile. And by the way, does God do that? Sure. <laughs> sure He does. But the idea that that is the reward of our faith, we have it in this life, my friend, that's too bad because this life is all too passing, all too fleeting. It, it, it passes us by too fast. And I'll be honest with you, the more you mature, the more you grow and understand, the more you say, I don't want it now. I want it later. I don't want it in a way I can lose it. I want it in a way that I cannot be lost. I want it in an eternal, in an, in an eternal way. Because God's promise, which requires our faith, always satisfies. It's always worth believing. It's always worth obeying for. It's always worth living for. And it matters forever. The Bible says, Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for He hath prepared for them a city. Now there's some satisfaction of building something with your hands. But that satisfaction all goes away when you look at what God can do in, in comparison with it. 
In six days, God made the world. In six days, God made the world. For thousands of years, God's been building a city for those that have exercised faith. And I don't know about you, but I know enough about this life to know that the satisfaction and the pleasures of it are pretty fleeting. They're very temporary. They're oftentimes dependent upon things that I don't have any control over, and that's whether or not I'll even have the capacity to perform or to do things. And I can easily be incapacitated. I don't know how many days I have into my number. I don't know how many years I have to live. I don't know how, how long I'll have the strength of my hands. I don't know how long I'll have the ability to use my own mind. But I know what God can do. And by faith, we need a desire to look to what God can do in our lives. If God wants to build something on this earth for His glory, for eternity, let's be part of building it. Let's exercise the faith that's required. But folks, let's don't, instead of looking to God and His promise, look to this life. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. In other words, the evidence of things not seen. What are you living for? Are you living for the things you can see? What are you hoping for? Are you hoping for the things you cannot see, or you can see, or the things you cannot see? Those individuals that pleased God did so by obedience. And that obedience showed that they had their focus on things which could not be seen. That's faith. Do you have it? The most important faith is the faith you, by which you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. And then we're supposed to live by faith. And living by faith, my friend, isn't living on the basis of can I do it or can I not do it. It's living on the basis of God. does God want it and will I obey. And if God wants it and you obey, my friend, you're building something in heaven that God's building. It's not built with hands. It's a lot better than what you could build and I could build.